hey you, are you stalling on raising your prices, feeling icky or resistant around selling your offers, or maybe you're showing up and doing all the right things, but you're not quite hitting the income goals you deeply desire. I got you, boo. I was there too, overworking and under-earning, all in my head about whether or not people could afford to pay me or if I had a big enough audience until I went all in on the money mindset work that completely changed my life forever. I doubled my income two years in a row and hit six figures within 13 months of launching my coaching business. My first high ticket offers filled within a few weeks. I sliced my work hours in half and started taking regular four day weekends. I traveled the world to 18 countries doing work that had me jumping out of bed with excitement every day. I'm going to share with you the exact tools and processes that got me into a healthy and thriving relationship with the way I make money. Create Money the Fun Way is a 12 week money mindset group coaching program for multi-passionate creative entrepreneurs who are ready to create a six figure income in your soul work by choosing to heal your money mindset, stop settling for less or making choices out of fear and make the moves to make the money you want in your dream business now. Clients who have been through this work have made tens of thousands of dollars within a matter of weeks. Doors are officially open. Go to withsaramack.com forward slash create money. and welcome to Creative Magic Club. Together, we'll discover inspirational stories of creative entrepreneurs living out their dreams, doing the work they are most passionate about, and building wealth in magical and fun ways. While building a six-figure income as a writer and coach, helping other women to launch their dream businesses, I've connected with so many incredible people and seen it proven again and again that you can thrive financially doing whatever it is you are passionate about. I am here to share life-changing strategies for my mindset, making money, and reaching more people with your work in a business and life filled with creativity, freedom, and fun. Hi, Sarah Mack here, and welcome to the Creative Magic Club podcast, where this is the place to become a six-figure creative through high ticket sales driven by stories and guided by the stars. And I have a very special three part series for you where we're going to do a bit of a deep dive into money mindset, specifically the most important pieces when it comes to high ticket selling and cranking up your rates and signing clients at those rates and all of the things that come with that. So before we dive in, I want to make sure you know that today is the first day of my really freaking epic new free challenge that I have launched. It's called Your 30 Day Money Play Date. And basically all you need is six minutes a day to double down and commit to my favorite, what I call money flossing journaling exercise that's going to shift your mindset in your relationship with money open you up to inspiration, flow, creativity, motivation, confidence, clarity, and most importantly, different action to crank up your cash flow in super fun, really aligned ways this month. So click the link in the description or go to withsaramac.com under freebies and make sure you sign up for that and come and join us. There'll also be an opportunity when you participate, when you comment on every single one of my reels on my new account, Sarah Mac Magic, you will be entered into a draw to win a spot in my most epic money mindset program, Create Money the Fun Way, which is 12 weeks. We're going to have a Voxer chat. We're going to have a community of super inspiring other entrepreneurs going for it, making big moves, changing our relationship with money forever. This is the work that led me to double my income two years in a row radically, radically transformed my work life, my career, my business, and my income in the best ways. So today we're going to talk about how to build and maintain confidence in high ticket sales. Let's break it down. Like what even is confidence? And this was actually one of my very first lessons as an entrepreneur. So for those of you who know my background, I used to be a copywriter And that's how I discovered the coaching industry because there was all these coaches who were hiring me 
and sending me other coaches' websites that were inspiring them and saying, I want a website like this. So I was discovering all these really cool people. I was like, what is this business? What, what are they doing? Making a massive impact, having loads of fun, making a shit ton of money, like sign me up. So I joined a business coaching program with Emily Williams. And one of the first lessons was on mindset. I don't remember many kind of like massive aha breakthrough moments in programs like I remember this one. And it was so simple, but it was really life altering for me. And she shared that confidence is a choice. And she pitched it as confidence is really just a set of beliefs that you think. And that completely changed my life and my business and really was the beginning of my journey into the power of mindset in creating a different reality with money because I started experimenting and I noticed what changed when I just decided to think thoughts like I'm good enough and this might work out and what if this can be easy and what if I'm ready now instead of I'm not good enough no one's going to say yes. No one has any money to pay me, right? But obviously there was a ton of other extra work that I had to do to really get to a place of confidence because it's normal not to feel confident when you're doing something new, right? It's very normal for your brain to be like, what the hell is going on? We've never done this before. Is this safe? Are we okay? And, you know, look for danger. So one of the key, 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 key pieces that I feel like is so important, especially when you want to be raising your rates. And this can come up at any point in your journey, right? When you are suddenly desiring to go to that next level or stepping into something new or like significantly raising your rates and it feels kind of edgy, we need to connect back to our value and we need to connect back to the truth that we are enough. And I talk about in my book, my getting paid to learn philosophy. Like there's always a way for us to be of value, be of high value and to grow and to evolve and to learn new things and to step into new directions. And obviously if we're like more new in something, it makes sense that we charge a little bit lower, right? Which is why whenever I launch a new offer and it feels really edgy for me and that like imposter syndrome starts to creep up or I don't feel, or I don't have that confident belief that if I charge, you know, hundreds or thousands of dollars for this offer that someone will definitely want to pay that because that energy comes across, right? If we don't believe someone will pay it, we probably will self-sabotage the launch. We won't confidently pitch it and people won't buy it. So we have to feel good about our prices. And I'm a big, I'm really into baby stepping it, you know, and I've, I've done huge stepping it before. I've put the price of my one-on-one up by $9,000 from 9,000 to 17,000. Is that 9,000? That's 8,000. <laughs> um, and someone instantly bought and I changed nothing about that offer when I, you know, when I first made that leap. So there's many different ways for you to edge into higher pricing. And obviously packaging and selling a higher ticket offer is very different um, in many ways from packaging and selling like a lower ticket or like a one-to-many offer. Although obviously you can have one to many high ticket offers. There are definitely similarities. There are definitely differences in the buyer and what they're looking for and the selling points. So there's no harm in starting low and edging it up. Like my intensive that is now 1,500. When I first launched it as a 90 minute call, I was selling it for like 333. And then as I enrolled people, you know, I got more clarity around what I was really good at offering in that space, who that space was really for, what the outcomes were. And I started to work that into the positioning and the messaging. And I bumped it up to 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. And then I went from 900 to 1500. And I made it two weeks of Voxer. And that's now my cosmic sales intensive. And it's more of a niche focus. So now we're specifically going to work on, because I found that was the first piece that my clients really needed was to get really clear on their high ticket offer, get really clear on their zone of genius, on their brand storytelling and the messaging to sell the high ticket offer. And that already comes from the sales page strategy. So I built an offer that really gave us the focus and the time to get that piece done really, 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 really well. That is then going to set them up for success with the rest of you know their client journey to selling and filling that offer. So it's okay 
to not feel confident. It's okay to find your path of least resistance, but know the line where like your lack of confidence is actually undermining your impact. It's undermining your action. It's undermining your well-being and choosing to have confident thoughts. Like we don't need to be delusional here. We don't need to be like, I'm, I mean, to be fair, I do, I do like the belief I'm the best in the world at what I do, because if we all showed up like that, we're going to do our best work. Right. So I do actually love that one, but you don't have to pretend to be something that you're not. You don't have to pretend to have skills that you're not. You know, something else I see in clients sometimes is when they're first launching things, thinking like if you feel like you need to go out and research a bunch of things for the offer that you're selling, you're probably not focused on selling the right thing. You should be focused on selling the thing that you can talk about in your sleep that you could talk about for hours and hours and hours because this is your true embodied wisdom. And there's nothing wrong with obviously doing research and, you know, being really clear on the points that you're teaching, but you have so much value. No matter where we are, we have massive life-changing value and doing the work to connect to that and to really package and position that in a good way. Like that's the work that's going to make it feel clear for you. That's going to help you to feel really confident That's going to translate that clarity and confidence and make it easy for people to say yes to buying, even at those very, very high price points. So yeah, one of the major things I had to do in the early phases of stepping into coaching was actually sitting down and writing down all of the value that I brought to my clients. Like when they get to spend time with me, when they get their questions answered by me, when they get my input, my expertise, my wisdom, my skills, my gifts, like there's a lot, you know, and it can be as simple as what books have you read or what things have you been through in life or what programs have you done? What are you naturally really good at, right? Like they get all of that at their disposal when they get to work with you in those high touch containers. So you have to be very, very familiar with that. And that's really a part of the work that brings you the confidence to be like, of course, this is, I I can see how this is worth the money that I'm charging because And that's the other side of the equation is really connecting to how it changes their lives because maybe they learn one skill or one technique or, you know, like one section of their life experiences a big transformation, but for sure there's massive, massive ripple effects in the rest of their life, right? When you help someone with their relationship, they're going to have less relationship drama. They're going to sleep better at night. They're going to have more energy. They're going to do better in their career. They're going to be, have more like social battery to go out and make new friends. They're going to be more creative, have more time in their day, like feel supported, feel inspired to go and create their, their best work, their best creations, their best community contributions. If you help someone with their body, with, you know, removing pain, you're going to amplify and increase the quality of their relationships with everybody in their family who talk to them every day. That is absolutely invaluable. You know, that could be the difference like month after month, year after year of a difference between a relationship failing and a relationship succeeding because the pain of that person didn't get in the way of them being able to love and care for and support and provide and be loved and receive love. So it's really important to connect to the ripple effect of your work in your client's life in all of the ways, because that's what high ticket really is. You're paying for a transformation that affects the rest of their life, that becomes a turning point. Like now they have this, now they know this, now they live in this different way with this knowledge, with these skills, with these, whatever it is that they've produced during your time together, their entire life will be different forever. So... You have to be familiar with these aspects of the conversation and able to confidently demand those higher prices and to feel really right about charging them. So usually this is just a case of digging and repositioning, you know, and really pulling out those golden aspects of who you are. That's what I love using clients' astrology charts for because I'm like, oh yeah, here's your genius. Oh yeah, here's what people love to pay you for. Oh yeah, here's your most compatible clients. Cool, now we have this information. We don't have to arm and on, like, you know, ask 50,000 questions and get you to like make a million decisions. And we just get to focus on what you're here to do, build a really killer offer around it, tell the stories that show how amazing you are and get on with it. So another thing I wanted to talk about is insecurity, 
like, what is this? It's also a set of beliefs. It's also an emotional pattern. And, you know, this is something I dive deep into in my book, The Six Figure Creative, from my own journey with healing complex PTSD and childhood trauma and sexual assault. And I just wrote a post about this today, recently having the experience of a miscarriage. You know, like there's so many different things that happen to our bodies, in our bodies, our bodies responding to life that creates a hormone shift, that creates a feeling or a pattern of feelings. And it can sometimes be very difficult to separate how we're feeling from what we're doing and what we want, right? And the thing I want, the point I want to make here is obviously taking care of our bodies, creating balance, harmony, support, using whichever tools are available to us in any given moment. That's like money mindset 101. And the other part of it is, yeah, like the the healing, the emotional healing that happens when we confront our insecurities, which are very often triggered by money, by sales, by business. You know, when we're confronted with these moments in time, these opportunities when either we're presented with potential, a lot of safety and comfort in a big client payment, or a no, or a missed opportunity, or a lack of income, right? And putting that outside of our control leaving that in the hands of the universe, the clients, right? That we, we genuinely don't have control over. So learning to navigate that gap emotionally is a very important skill set. And obviously, you know, listen to my podcast in past episodes, you'll hear many, many tools that I share to support you to do that. But the t- main takeaway from this conversation that I want to share is to get good at not projecting our feelings or our untrue thoughts onto our business and sales process. I'm sure we've all had that instance where somebody's reached out, they're going to buy. Maybe you've sent them the link. Maybe you've sent them the contract and you're waiting for the payment to come in. It's in those moments that all of those sneaky little insecurities that have been lying dormant are going to come to the surface and be like, Are you a healer, witch, creative, or magical entrepreneur who's ready to fill your high ticket one-on-one or group coaching program, and you want a sales page that will do the selling for you? Maybe you're tired of having a calendar full of sales calls, and you want a sales page that can clearly articulate your offer and guide interested clients to feel ready to buy without needing to talk to you first. Maybe you already have a sales page and people are clicking on it, but not reaching out, and you want to feel clear on what to say and what not to say to turn interested people into actual buyers. Having sales pages for my offers has led to filling a high ticket group coaching program with 10 clients at $1,000 each while traveling on vacation for two weeks and launching using repurposed content. Having five figure months from sales into my $5,000 evergreen mastermind with no live launching beyond daily social media content. Signing clients into my $17,000 private mentorship program with no sales calls. When you book my Cosmic Sales Intensive, you'll walk away with a full, clear, compelling sales page for your high ticket offer that will attract ready to buy clients and that you can continue to make sales with for years to come. Clients who have been through this offer have created a sales page that went on to sell out a high ticket relationship coaching mastermind, had 20 applications within 48 hours of publishing, sold several $15,000 private mentorship packages, and even had a six-figure launch with the sales page and content strategy we created within just a few weeks. Stop losing people with fluffy language that sounds the same as so many others in your industry and clearly articulate why your work is worth five to $10,000 plus, even when you sell things like astrology, human design, breathwork, mindset coaching, or energy work. Book your cosmic sales intensive now at withsaramac.com or via the link in my description. hey, what if I'm not good enough? What if they hate me? What if they go and look at more of my social media posts and discover something that they don't like about me? What if, what if, what if, right? And our brain starts to freak out. And because we don't have control, right? Like once we step into the zone of we don't have control, that's the zone of anxiety. So having little protocols 
around those moments that trigger our insecurities. And sometimes we can be absolute pros at this. And then suddenly, you know, we're at a certain phase in our cycle, a certain season of the month, a certain something has been going on in our life. And we get hit with one of those emotional responses. And we're like, oh my God, I thought I was over this, right? So obviously, again, coming back to you, confidence is built through experience and knowing like, okay, so now for that example that I just gave you, how I deal with that, the rule is for me in my business and my mindset and navigating, holding the gap, navigating the gap and the waiting is focus on your next client. You know, if you've done everything that you can to welcome that particular new client into your world, as long as you've had clear communication, you know, if there's any deadlines that's been communicated, keep showing up for your next client. You know, that's literally the best way that you can focus because also if someone has reached out to buy, that means there's definitely other people that are thinking about it. So it's these little mindset hacks that you start to build over time that become your new normal, that create that emotional stability around things that once, you know, didn't feel um, like an emotionally fun place to be. These are the pros and cons of having a personal brand, right? And how to navigate this, like when you're feeling emotionally wonky because of whatever, because of your body, because of life, because of an emotional pattern, because of a healing process that you're in, that can kind of cloud your experience of your business, or you can project how you're feeling onto your experience of business which is actually business is very simple and logical. Being a personal brand is, you know, brings that human level of complexity into the way that we do business. Because if we're dependent on, if for our consistent income is dependent on consistent action, consistently showing up, then when we're not feeling consistent or when we're consistently not feeling good, you know, we have to learn and build tools and strategies to navigate that. So one of the things I like to do, like if I'm in it with something, I can lean on a more strategic approach to my personal brand. I can lean on my past successes, my past wins, my past products, things I've already created that I can continue to sell and serve people with, content I've already created that I can repurpose and serve people with, my established expertise, my established proven concepts, my established proven offers, things that have sold before, things that have got great results where there's all the evidence. And you know, if you don't have that yet, that can be built quickly. And that's something that we can always lean on when we're not feeling like I want to be super seen in my process right now. Versus when we're, we know it's time to expand and we feel more secure in ourselves to be able to get raw and real and let people into your messy middle. And I think, you know, even hearing this, this can be a moment by moment thing. This can be a day by day thing. It could also be a slightly longer period and that's okay. But I think it's important to remember that you're enough, like you're perfectly imperfect and whatever you're going through is enough. And people want to hear it. You know, people want to hear your humanness. We don't need to share from our place of pain. So definitely sharing from a place of leadership always, right. And, and from a place of value and from a place of being centered on your client, not just venting about your problems on the internet. Um, So, but yeah, we always get to protect ourselves. We always get to care for ourselves. Our business gets to support us and care for us and protect us. And it still gets to make money and we still get to serve people. So it obviously helps to keep your finger on the pulse of your people, to engage, to be authentic. And this is why I love astrology, especially for the seasons. Um, because they're very different, right? And they're different for different people, depending on people's charts. But just know if you're going through something, for sure, there are other people in your audience going through something similar, right? We are not alone. We do not live in a vacuum. And because I have so many conversations with so many different people day to day, week to week, I see these patterns and I see these trends. And that does make me feel so much better about when I'm like super fucking tired, for a few days or like really emotional or, you know, it's normal. So definitely pay attention to my content prompts for each each astrological season that I share here on the podcast for you to really tap into what is probably, probably quite common experiences for people during these seasons and just have conversations with people. You know, the easiest way to be connected to your community is to just be a real person and to show up and have a conversation. 
whether you do that in private spaces, in DMs, whether you do that on your stories, whether you do that in your content, whether you do that, you know, with your clients, the more you're actually in conversation with the people you're serving, the easier it's going to be for you to tap into those most timely lessons and trends and things that really support them, the easier it's going to be to step into that position of leadership and know that like we're all in it together, you know, we're never alone. And probably you sharing about something that you have a lot of shame around, like by releasing shame around it and just being like, hey, this is what I'm going through right now. That's going to be liberating for so many other people in your audience who are interested in, you know, doing whatever it is that you're doing. So never underestimate the power, the power of just being a raw, real human. So what do we do with this? My suggestion as a way to build true, unshakable confidence is actually being willing to make friends with your worst nightmare coming true and committing to the goal anyway. And I have some killer journal prompts around this, some of my favorite processes around this in my book, The Six Figure Creative, coming out on December 5th. So you'll definitely want to get your hands on that. But for now, think about your worst case scenario, because actually a lot of my worst case scenarios have happened. (laughs) And I think sometimes the more we fear something, the more likely it is to happen. And, you know, like I fell out with my entire family. I've been trapped across the border and not seen my husband for months at a time. I've had visas rejected. I've had my Instagram account shut down. Like so many things that could have gone wrong that I really didn't want to go wrong have gone wrong and guess what I didn't die like I survived even though some of them were genuinely like really painful and like very hard to navigate these things show us how much more resilient we are than we give ourselves credit for and I think a lot of the time we hold back because we're like well I'd rather just not have to go through the hard things when actually there's so much freedom on the other side of going through the hard things and recognizing that actually you are willing. You are willing to go through your worst case scenario. You are willing to pitch your offer for weeks and weeks and weeks and months and months and months and and nobody buying long enough for it to fill up, you know, for you to get good at selling, for you to finally get in front of the clients who really want to work with you and who have the money to pay you and are a fit for what you're offering and being willing to continue to show up like Get on sales calls with the wrong people. Hear no over and over and over again. You know, put yourself out there in your business and not hit your income goal and have to figure it out. Like you can do it. You can do it. And is it worth it? You know, that's the question that we get to keep asking ourselves. Like, is the vision of what we want worth going through potentially falling flat on our face multiple times? Because we've all done it, you know? So make peace with that and then build a sales habit and just keep failing forward. The only way you get to high ticket sales to more income, more clients, more impact, more fulfillment is more sales. And the faster you commit to that, the less drama there's going to be around it. So I would identify the beliefs that you would hold about yourself if you were confident. Things like, I am enough. I'm actually really good at this. I have so much value to offer. My work is really life-changing. Rehearse them. And this can really be the difference between taking confident sales actions and making more money or not showing up and not making money. This is the true power of really taking the time to correct our mindset to plug in the destination of where we have decided we want to go instead of leading up to our wild and unruly thoughts and fears. I can't tell you how many times I've negotiated with myself. It's usually on a Friday when I'm like, I really showed up this week. Maybe I'll just skip today. Maybe I'll just give myself a day off. And I decided to show up And then because I showed up that day, a client signed up and I got a sale of several thousands of dollars. So it's in those small, consistent commitments that the miracles and the paydays happen. Show up and sell daily. 
You will make more money. It will get easier. There will be less drama about selling. It will be less emotional. You will feel less volatile about it. You will stop negotiating with yourself around it. So you'll stop losing energy around it. That's really unnecessary when you just decide to commit. And remember this, content isn't sales. You can show up and share a nice quote or a graphic or a personal story. And yes, these are valuable. Yes, they serve a purpose, but they're not sales unless you intentionally make sure that that piece of content is selling and is leading to somebody potentially being able to buy from you. So make sure that you are clear on your sales process for your offer and how you are moving people from discovering your work to buying your offers. And if this feels like something that hasn't been working for you, that you're unclear on, or you're doing it in a way that you actually don't really enjoy and isn't really sustainable, that's something that I work with my clients on in my private mentorship, Sell Your Magic Like Magic. So you can DM me the word support and we can chat about how I can support you on that. And also just to let you know, If you are considering joining my upcoming money program that I'm running live, Create Money the Fun Way, inside the Voxer chat, like no questions or topics are off limit. I'm here to support you to make money so we can talk business, we can talk content, we can talk astrology, we can talk anything that you need to bring in as much cash in as many fun ways as possible during our three months together. So make sure you go and join my free 30 day money play date that kicked off today. Click the link in the description to sign up for that. You're going to get a a free checklist. And if you participate every day and comment on every single one of my 30 reels, it doesn't matter when you comment on them, but I recommend you do the six minute journaling exercise as many times as there are reels. So 30 times you will be entered into a chance to win a spot inside create money the fun way. As long as you have entered all of your comments by December 4th, the winner will be picked on December 5th which is also the launch date of my book, The Six Figure Creative, Do More of the Work That You Love by Healing Your Relationship with Money, where I share everything that it took to transform my relationship to money, to ditch overwhelm and anxiety, to double my income two years in a row, to grow to having six figure years in a business I love to bits. So if you've loved this, please, please, if you haven't already, leave a review for the podcast, share, like, subscribe and follow. And here's to you living your wildly rich and creatively free life and business. I'm Sarah Mack. Thank you for being here. I love you. I'm proud of you. Keep at it. You are a superstar. You've got this. And make sure you tune in for the next two weeks because we are going to continue this conversation around money mindset and high ticket sales. Okay. Love you. Bye. For more inspirational content, head over to my website with sarahmack.com. And please support the show by liking, commenting, and subscribing. I'm not a millionaire yet, but I know that I need to be to retire comfortably. Being a millionaire is no longer a pie in the sky ideal for a lucky few. It's a fact of life and necessity for us all. Along with knowing this, I also know I am unwilling to sacrifice my precious life working in any way that compromises my values of authenticity, freedom, health, happiness, connection, and impact. So I have a plan to become unshakably financially stable in the way that I want to get there. And I want us to build wealth, freedom, and impact together. I went from broke, burnt out, overwhelmed, overcommitted, and very money avoidant to doubling my income two years in a row and making six figures in my dream business as a money mindset and brand strategy witch for creative entrepreneurs. And I've learned to save, keep, and grow my wealth in ways that feel fun, all thanks to the power of a deep and committed money mindset practice. I know that these practices will take me to any amount of money I desire to build in my life. The key part of it is the practice part. That's why I birthed Millionaire Witch Club. It's a place to come together on the full moon to reconnect with your money goals, stay focused and get clear on the next steps to get there without sacrificing your authenticity, health or happiness. We'll dive deep into your existing belief system in your relationship with money and examine, clean up and elevate the thought systems that are influencing the actions you take so you can create wildly different results. 
you'll leave feeling clear, confident, and supported to go make big moves, to make more, grow more, and love your life more as you impact others through your unique medicine and purpose here in this lifetime while you build your net worth to $1 million plus. Millionaire Witch Club will take place around the full moon each month, and it's free. Sign up at withsaramac.com or via the link in the description.